Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, so, earlier this morning, I saw that uh, the Mega Man Legacy Connect collection was on sale, so I bought it because one of my favorite games of all time is Mega Man 2. And I had recorded this playthrough of Mega Man 2, which was the first time I had played the game in somewhere around 30 years. And... I was working on trying to get the separate mic audio extracted the right way using VLC and accidentally overwrote the file and I lost it and I'm kind of sick about that um, because there was a lot of cool stuff with this, you know, as far as um, my reaction to stuff for the first time in 30 years that... You can't really get back. Um, you know, me kind of wondering if it was like riding a bike. And honestly, it being like riding a bike. And um, just it feeling pretty cool that you can pick up a game after this many years and more or less still be good at it. Um, or good enough at it to beat it. Um, I had got hung up a bit uh, towards the end. Um... I had to do the boss gauntlet a couple of times, three times to be exact. Dr. Wiley kind of gave me some issue. So, um, you know, things like that. So anyway, this is the second time I've played the game in 30 years. And so now I hope maybe some of the, uh, cause it was a two hour long playthrough. It, it certainly wasn't perfect. Um, so, Maybe this will end up being a little bit more succinct. I'll try to keep going through some of the the same things that I talked about in the first one. You know, some of my memories surrounding the game and things like that. And we'll just have to do it again. I used to get so hyped at this when I was a kid. The way the music picks up and then Mega Man. That's a, that's a fantastic intro for a game. Just gonna play on, uh, oh, and we're doing this without rewinds, because we didn't used to do this without rewinds. I had spent some time trying to remember my path through the, um, the stages, um, which I finally think I landed on. I've watched this game a couple of times over the years on uh, YouTube just for nostalgia's sake. And it seems like the order that I had figured out how to play the game when I was younger um, isn't the, the most efficient or popular way to play it, but it's it's how I learned to play. So that's, I'm going to be doing that. And, um, you know, just kind of doing my own thing with it. I'm dying right off the bat. That's embarrassing. So I don't think I'd, uh, I know for sure I hadn't played this game past 1996. Um, when the Nintendo 64 came out, I more or less stopped playing Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, as we used to call it back then. Um, before that, I would mostly, you know, after Super Nintendo came along, I mostly played Super Nintendo, but I would bounce back and forth to regular Nintendo, um, you know, to play my favorite games. So this, uh, I rented this game the first time from a place called Movie Time, right up where, where I live. It's, uh, it was before prolifer the proliferation of some of the bigger video rental franchises, like, uh, yeah, yeah, Blockbuster is the one that ended up shutting Movie Time down, and then, you know, Hollywood Video and all that. It was definitely like a mom and pop. Uh, video rental store and uh, loved it so much I uh, wanted to get it for my birthday 
So I took some money that I'd gotten from cards during my birthday, and um, my parents drove me. I was probably between eight and ten. Drove me to Toys R Us to to buy Mega Man, and I've got fond memories of <laughs> riding home that night and trying to sneak a peek at the box art and the and the booklet. You know, you'd get the the street street signs. I mean, the street lights passing by, and you try to sneak a quick peek in between the the lights. <laughs> The music in this game is uh, some of my favorite music in gaming, period. Um, the Flashman stage in particular still gets stuck in my head from time to time. And, uh... But I think this is, you know, gonna be on the list of anyone's favorite vintage video game soundtracks. It's amazing work here. So you got Bold Man. So back in the day, if you were a, uh, you know, a kid growing up playing Nintendo, uh, what's next? Woodman. Think so. Um, you know, you couldn't, of course you couldn't really readily access, uh, readily access game FAQs or YouTube videos back then, and uh, so you kind of more or less had to figure out these games yourself, so um, as you experiment with what stages you can beat in what order and what weapons are good for what bosses, um, might end up with a little bit of an or unorthodox pathing through the game. Um, my old man had a rule. Uh, that I couldn't get a new game until I'd beat my old game. And outside of like birthdays and Christmases or whatever, but if I was advocating to buy myself a new video game outside of like a special holiday, um, I, I had to I had to have beaten the la you know the last game that I'd gotten. And it seemed reasonable enough at the time for me because that's really all I knew. But um, In retrospect, um, you know, and, and certainly by modern gaming standards, looking back at how difficult these games were on the NES, um, I just beat some savage, savage games on NES at a young age, because I, I had to, and the baked-in incentive was that I get a new game. <clears throat> so, you, you know, for instance, like when uh, Battletoads got all memed out, and I started reading everyone's experience with Battletoads, and I mean, I played that game a lot, and you know, I had a I had a party trick eventually for the the hoverbike stage, to where as soon as you hopped on the on the hoverbike, I could get through that that portion with my eyes closed, just using audio cues, and I didn't realize that that part had been so prohibitively difficult for people until it kind of started being a meme. And uh, so, you know, that kind of makes you feel feel good and also realize that, you know, probably learned a good bit about patience and video gaming, you know, for the rest of my life because um, it's, it's real hard to, to hit up again, get something that uh, ends up as quite as difficult as these vintage NES games. So, and this is another one. I think uh, 
Well, all the Mega Mans are kind of known for being on the more difficult side of the spectrum. And uh, I just remember beating my head up against this game for hours and hours and hours, but I loved it so much. Um, you know, just kept at it. And uh, upon playing it nowadays, I'm just really, it's, it's really cool to me that, you know, there's a lot of things I would have hoped I would retain over the years. And one thing that just been laying dormant in my brain for 30 years is how to play Mega Man 2, more or less. Uh, so it is what it is, but it's kind of neat. Um, I got actually really kind of tickled with it. That first playthrough I did earlier today, because I just didn't know what to expect, and it was like, it just, it was like it hadn't been 30 years that passed. I have fond memories, uh, I used to go stay at my great-grandmother's house during the summers while my mom was at work here and there, and at the time, you know, early, early 90s, um, my, my great-grandmother gamed, you know, she played Nintendo, it, it wasn't too far removed from Atari, and the controllers hadn't had, uh, much time to get real big and confusing yet, so she actually played, she played slower type games, but, uh, I knew I could always go over there, and she basically didn't care if I sat in the room and gamed all day, which was cool, because my parents used to try to put me on a limit. So I've got fond memories of sitting over there in the summer, and her more or less leaving me alone, and just getting to, to practice, uh, and play over there, so I remember playing this game a lot over there, and, uh, being young and just thinking it was really neat that you could walk behind the clouds here. You know, I used to use my imagination and give Mega Man lines about, you know, how it was foggy or cloudy or whatever, and, you know, stuff like that. Oh boy, got these kind of on the wrong cycle here. see there. Um, this is by far the Mega Man game that I know the most. I had, um, I had rented Mega Man 1 before, and I never beat that when I was a kid. Um, after I beat this one, I'd rented Mega Man 3 some, and I never beat that game legit. And there was a, um, there was a cheat you could use with the second controller plugged in where you could, uh, rubber band down the, I think it was the right, con right button on the control pad. And it would give you a, a high jump in invincibility if you fell off the map. 
like fell into a pit. So if you dropped into a pit, you could just jump right out of it, and the high jump kind of trivialized a lot of it. Um, I think the last Mega Man game for NES that I rented was four. I didn't beat that one either. And then um, after that, I think I just played the first Mega Man X, and that was really it. Yeah, so I'm going to consider myself like a Mega Man fanboy, but this game, one of my favorite of all time. <laughs> and you gotta hit the jump button. Uh, I remember this stage in particular being over there at my, uh, my great grandma's house. Um, I just remember playing through here and my older cousin was at the house. He was, I don't know, probably a good five, six years older than me at the time. Would have been early to mid teenager while I was over there and uh, I, you know, I got, I got some health and he asked me if that re he was watching me play, wanted to know what it was, and he wasn't a gamer. And, um, you know, collected a health pack, and he asked, did that, did that rejuvenate me? And, oh, shit. That was the, um, that was the first time I'd ever heard the, the word rejuvenate, and that's where I learned it. I had to ask him what it was, and he, he taught me. So, now basically, anytime I hear or see the word rejuvenate, I think about being on, a. Uh, Metal Man stage over at my great grandma's house. Actually, right here, where we had that conversation. Let's see, what do I have here? Yeah. All right, we're back in the good. last, you know, when I was playing this the first time earlier this morning, um, some of the old, I don't, I don't know if they're glitches, but ways that you can kind of game how the Nintendo works with certain, this, these enemies in particular, you wait for them to go off the screen and then they're just not there anymore. Oh, look at that. That might have been a second one, but it's a good way to get rid of those obstacles. 
You, you know, this is all just stuff you pick up over time, beating your head against the wall back in the day. I remember playing this game on a 13-inch television, sitting on the floor. Well, I was sitting on the floor. You get right up against the screen. Might as well be a big screen. And once you do that... There was a code for the Nintendo version, I don't remember what it was, but you could turn those little white dots or stars or whatever it is flying by in the, uh, you know, the boss intro screens into, uh, chickens. I remember doing that. I like, uh, doing Metal Man before this stage for the Metal Blade, because the directional attacks you get with Metal Blade are, uh, very handy. This was my favorite, favorite weapon when I was a kid. Just throwing saw blades was, thought it was badass. Honestly, I could probably just use the... I've got enough refills to just use this, I think. I used to really like this part because it <clears throat> made me feel like I was... Um, climbing into space. Some of the pathing through the, uh, through the levels that I just kind of remember second nature was pretty surprising for me, too. There we go.
Yeah, the trial and error of finding out which uh, weapons work best for the bosses. Uh, you can tell that some bosses are just learn how to beat with the P-Blaster. You can beat them all with the P-Blaster, but you got some that got mega weaknesses like Crash Man and Air Man. Uh, but when you'd kind of stumble upon them back in the day, it'd be a cool feeling. Over here to Flash Man. Where's a Quick Man? Honestly, it probably doesn't matter. This track, the soundtrack for this stage is the one that gets stuck in my head most frequently nowadays. It's probably one of my favorites in this game. Actually, could probably use that health right now. Yeah, that's what you would call a wash. Consider a wash. Waste of my time. Okay. That's, that's okay. So for the longest, uh, I'll talk about that later when we get there. So yeah, there's a segment in Dr. Wily's castle, um, third or fourth stage, to where the end of it, um, it's just kind of, it's more a puzzle boss, I'd say, but it's not even a real puzzle, just when you're young, you can't kind of do the right sort of lateral thinking or whatever, and I'd get stuck there forever, we'll go into the particulars later, but, um, for the longest time, if I got to that part, I just had considered myself as beating the game. You know, so I have a lot more practice up to that point of the game than uh, than past that. Oh, do I have number three? Yeah, whoops. Oh well. I could have got that extra man if I would have waited a second. Did 
these things. Those are all. Oh, gotta use them. Those those beams that drop uh, used to kill me so much. They might even still kill me. They got me a good time in my earlier playthrough. Good amount of times. Just in case we have an emergency. Yeah, that, that part with the beam, oh lord, that part with the beams was the bane of my existence for a while. That's one of the reasons I'd always save Quick Man for last. And I would always save Heat Man for last so I could have, uh, well, I don't, I think that's just how it ended up happening in my head. Or whatever, because as you can see, I don't use half of the, uh, the toys that the game gives you. Um, but I used to struggle with this to some degree. Um, you can use the, the tools to bypass quite a bit of it. Just, damn it. That's what I get for getting cocky. Hey, nice. Mega Man giveth and, uh, or taketh away and giveth. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Here's another one where you can kind of get rid of these guys. I don't know why that happens. Yeah, for instance, here. I never had the patience to learn the patterns for that, so I just would wait till I unlocked the, uh, the right tools I'd need. other part <clears throat> just never had the patience for these as a youngin
Nice. Alright. <clears throat> Moving on to Dr. Wily's castle. Uh, one of my favorite parts in this game is when you get a glimpse of Dr. Wily's castle for the first time and it kind of zooms in and gives you a, a plot of the segment that you're in and how it gets you into the, the fortress. You, know, you like spawn in outside, the music's all epic, some of the best music in the game, and then you got the you got to fight past the, the flying robot dragon guardian jumping across platforms it's just a really epic really epic for the 8-bit era used to get so hype <clears throat> it's like it's about to go down you know dr wiley castle got got bone columns <laughs> lasers rockets skulls like what, what more do you want Weird Dracula Tower on the right. And they were like, yeah, man, just throw that shit in there, too. Did, did. Music is so good. Oh. There we go. I need to fill up my number three. What else is... I think that's it. One foot off of stuff. Ah, uh, that's a number one. Yeah. Dut, 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 dut. All right. Uh, gets real right here. It's all in the rhythm, though. I remember counting time to this as a kid. <laughs> uh, waited too long. That's embarrassing. And start me all the way back here. I'm sorry. somewhere and fill up these, uh, well, let's just hope I won't do that again. Mm, 
Alright, let's try this again. Knocks me back, I land on that platform. I actually had a better showing at this fight on the, the first time around. Hey, appreciate you. Okay, got a good little. quick do I have? Oh, that's not bad. Man. I am noobing out right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? Um oh boy. Well, this is a conundrum here. I might have to back up and go farm some ener energy. If I can't get this, I don't know if this is going to give me enough lift or not. so I don't have to do this again. Let's try this again. Alright. I need to slow down. I'm trying to rush.
That's how it's supposed to go. What, what I like about this is 30 years removed, uh, still get your heart pumping a little bit. I'm sure there's faster ways to do this, but uh, I kind of always use this as an opportunity to try and fill my meters. Because when you're just out in the normal game fighting the bosses, all your all your energy refreshes in between. But once you get in Dr. Wily's castle, I think outside of just doing a hard continue. Um, you have to manage your, your energy yourself. Oh. These guys have a, um, a bit of a weird hitbox. This was uh, this was a boss I had more or a end fight that I had more or less forgotten when I played earlier. Pretty pretty simple once you know how to deal with it. It's not anything crazy. stage gets a little real with the water and the spikes. Dun, dun. I had remembered a lot about this game, but these fish right here, I had wiped out of my memory until earlier. I was like, oh yeah, I remember those things. 
Big ol' Ooh, that's close. Metal fish. This is the tricky part. Yep. Try this again. Oh, are you serious? I'm gonna blow through all my lives here before I actually need them. There we go. Those right there, buddy. First time you fall down that thing, you get through all that, and you die to those two assholes right there. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't forget about those last time through. It ruined me that bad. Guts man on the first one. NES games were actively trying to give you epileptic seizures. Dun, dun. So this is the level that I used to get stuck on as a kid. Because at the end you need um, crash bombs. It's like these orbs that straddle the wall. And there's... Um, the barriers that you can... You can only destroy those orbs with the crash bomb. And then there's barriers in front of them that you can only destroy with the crash bomb. And so if you don't sit and think about it, you'll just start shooting crash bombs everywhere but you don't have enough energy to destroy everything in the room so you actually end up having to use your tools to get around some of the walls and that just was not something that I was my, my child brain was able to conceive of at the time and um, I always thought something was wrong or the game was broke or you know, and it wasn't until I came back a little while later, when I was a little bit older, did I, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Did it finally hit me, and I finally beat the game. You know, so... Oh. Oh, no! Are you serious? Here, let me just do this. So, yeah, for the longest time, this is... This was the end of the game for me. I was like, whoop, I beat it. There we go.
Can't just drop off the ladders to speed things up here. Because you'll hit them spikes. See? Yep. Um, I think I need a platform first. Yep. It's right here. Hamstrung me for a long time. One more charge other than crash bombs. I think I probably should have destroyed that wall and um which my jigger. messing me up. I 
And now I'm going to have to farm up energy. I will likely uh, speed this up when I edit it. We're actually having pretty bad luck getting the energy uh, containers or whatever they're called, the refill things. will be straight. Oh, I didn't realize these were one-shot kills with the P cannon. There we go. two more. We'll be good to go. I think I do need to try to destroy that block and the one above it with the same crash bomb. Alright, I'm going to call that done. Let's try this again. Let's 
So when I played through this um, the first time, a little while ago, I, I, I did that area even worse than I just did it then. Um, and when I came back down here, two of those crash blocks were missing. And I don't know if that was a, a bug or if maybe they had uh, done something for this part in particular because it was a little difficult. Or if I'm just a kid and I'm misremembering how it was or used to rage quit and it always did that. I don't know. We're going to... Oh my god. We're going to have to see if I can ever make it back down there. At least I'll have to farm up all that energy again. things. Oh. Taunting me. Alright. Let's see if I can focus a little bit more. Oops, thought we were a little further along than we were. Alright. Yeah, see? They're gone. I can't remember if it used to do that or not. understand about that one. Okay. Can't 
remember. It's the gauntlet now. Yeah. Hmm. I just more or less got to go back and fight all the bosses again. Try to get the ones that I have a little bit more difficulty with out of the way. So I can try and start Dr. Wily with uh, uh who else? Oh, certainly not him. Why ain't he shooting? Oh, there he goes. It's weird. That's bullshit. Does that give me energy back? No. Oh man. Unless I'm real careful about what I'm doing. Um, we might be having to do all this all over again. All right. All right, let's see what we got for Dr. Wiley. This kind of gave me a little bit of difficulty earlier. Right. 
Alright, there we go. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go find out the little, uh, secret about Dr. Wily. This is a very distinct NES type sounds going on right now. To where they're objectively irritating, but you didn't know any better back in the day. You get a you can continue from this point. I would prefer not to. Good little legs. Alright. Hmm. Almost got him. Da -da -da -da. I think that was our first, our first continue. Almost made it. I'm cool with that. That continue music. I think I've heard that music more than any other music in the game. All things considered. Faith. Me of little faith. Huh. Alright. Number two. At a deficit. I'm going to play some catch up. this on purpose. This is your, uh, this is your pain for losing. They're gonna let you beat the game, but you're gonna, you're gonna suffer through the noise and the boss run up. touch his body, it chunks you. There we go. Uh-oh. Nice. I told you. There we go. Abort, abort, abort.
whole works shutting down. Hell yeah. Beat it twice in a day. That was a lot better than the first attempt, so I am disappointed it didn't catch my, uh, I, I deleted the take that kind of had all my, you know, initial feelings and excitement for the game. Uh, after not playing it for so long, but this one will probably end up being a little bit more concise to watch. Journeying back home through the seasons. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I'd be just trying to fill the time right now before uh, Starfield comes out. Not getting involved with anything too crazy. Alright. Peaceful.